Welcome to Learnpedia. Score more and rank better in JE and NEET. Let's see if you can answer this actual JE question. If you think you got the answer, then post it in the comment section below. To know the best way to answer this question, continue watching this video. Let's start with calculation of energy of a spherical shell using the formula of the potential. This is a very very simple method to get this result. Our task is to charge this sphere up to total of capital Q charge. Here it is total charge is capital Q. So total charge that we have to dump on this sphere is Q and suppose at present here we have charge small q. Its radius we know is capital R. So total charge is Q but at this particular instant we have supplied only a small q charge which will get uniformly distributed all around this spherical shell and due to this charge what potential is going to get arisen so here the potential on the surface of the sphere since the charge is q so q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into capital r and you know this formula for the potential on the surface of the sphere and now if we suppose bring further charge of dq if we bring in the further charge dq to the system then we know that dq is so a small amount that potential may be assumed to be constant okay so the change in energy will be what potential into the charge as we know that definition of the potential difference between two points vb minus va is equal to what ub minus ua divided by q naught means if we move a unit positive charge from the point a to b then whatever amount of energy change is there that is the potential difference between these two points that means by multiplying the charge with the potential difference we can always find the change in energy so here v is the potential in fact it is the potential difference with infinity because the charge dq is being brought from infinity to this sphere so potential difference multiplied with the charge this much amount of work is done and this much amount of energy is stored within this particular system so v into dq so it becomes q dq divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into r so now we can calculate the total energy stored u is equal to integration of du so integration of du means since 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught r it is a constant so integration remains there only on q dq and q is here a variable which is changing from 0 to capital q as we know that q dq integration is basically q square divided by 2 from 0 to capital q so here that we have got u is equal to capital q square divided by 8 pi epsilon naught r so this much amount of energy is associated with this spherical shell or this is the self energy of the spherical shell or this much amount of energy is invested while making this system and this energy remains there so wherever this sphere goes this sphere carries this much amount of energy along with it and don't forget electric field energy is existing in space wherever the electric field is existing okay half epsilon naught e square is the energy stored per unit volume in any kind of electric field although we derived half epsilon naught e square just for the capacitor and that will do in the chapter of the capacitor anyway so this is the amount of energy stored hey there hope you understood the concept here's the answer to the question that was asked in the beginning keep watching to give an edge to a je and need preparation learn videos je and need prep tools contain over 4000 videos and over 20000 questions you can access them online through our website or offline through an sd card or a pen drive to buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of the product before buying.